there we go uh, so it's screwed down um, now I did have one mishap here I didn't quite get the hole in the right place for that screw but that's okay I got three of them in the right place and that will be enough to hold it here's the DC power coming in for <clears throat> for the motor drive and eventually we are going to clean these wires up uh, wire tie them so they're secure and fastened down and uh, out of the way we don't want them rubbing against uh, any of the encoder wheels or anything um, so but for now I'm, I'm not going to do that just from experience I've learned uh, if you do that before you test it you're going to end up undoing it because when you go to test it, it may not behave as you thought it would and you have to take it apart and fix it which is the fun part about being a maker is fixing stuff and learning okay so uh, now these are the wires um, uh, that we want to feed up through I will also show you how to wire up to the control pins here so we might as well do that now since we're going to put the top on and then we can feed those through as well I call this push pin hookup wire but you can basically buy this wire um, with these pins you can get them with male pins on one end female on the other male to male male and female to female so these are female to female because we know we have to push on the male pins here and then when we come up through if you're going to Arduino Raspberry Pi whatever you're going to most likely you've got a male pin on that as well uh, so or beagle bone so what we need are six pins because we want to control the speed with pulse width modulated signals and because we want to control the speed we need to remove these jumpers that are on the end pins See? that's the jumper and we have another one here so two jumpers are removed now we need six wires so I'm just going to count one three four five six and then pull these off so it doesn't really matter what color goes where just uh, eventually you're going to have to have a little diagram so that you remember what color is what and so just go ahead and push these on So now when you look at the diagram for this uh, H-Bridge motor controller, you'll see these two ends are enable pins, and then the other four are the direction control pins. And uh, so there's that's good. Now we feed these. these up through one of these holes here I think I'm just gonna try
try to get something close to the, to the motor here so we can get as much line length as we can here up to the controller board. There we go. 